guys good morning i wasn't planning on filming today i just popped into town like really randomly last minute decided and so i thought well i'll pick on my camera i'm not here for very long i just r basically dropped tom off at work he's with, i dropped him off with barney because the house has like builders and electrician not builders but painters and electrician in today so um yeah i was on my morning dog walk and i thought i fancy just a quick look at that soft string green and i thought i said to tom do you want me to just drop you off and drive you in he's like yes please so that's what i've done so i thought i would pick up the camera i thought whilst i'm here class it as work show you guys what's it new in stores as well i was thinking like do i do zara sale do i do like a full shopping experience and then i th just thought i'm not in the mood and i feel like you've got to be in the mood to shop i kind of was this morning and then the more the day's gone on the morning's gone on it's already half 10 and i'm already thinking oh i've got work to do i've got editing to do i need to get back the painters and that need sorting out so anyway, I'm faffing and this is where like my anxiety brain starts ticking over of like, oh, I haven't got time to shop and it's like, I'm self-sabotaging. I'm the one that chose to come in and to have a look at the shops. So I am going to keep it short and sweet so that I don't get overwhelmed and overstimulated and I'm going to go to Sostrine Green, have a look. It's like, a, if you don't know, it's like a little shop in manchester there's one in altering i think they have a couple of them but whilst we've been sorting out the kitchen and everything and sort of seeing what's new what what i've got i just wouldn't mind like going and having a look i know they've got quite a lot of nice kitchenware like faffy bits but like things you didn't know you needed kind of bits and um tom said that our oven gloves aren't very good so maybe to have a look see if they've got any decent oven gloves some trivets just stuff like that really so anyway we'll have a look i'm not really sure where this vlog is going to go what else is going to be in it but yeah a little bit of shopping i have had a couple of deliveries at home actually i've got a white company order in fact i could pop into white company see if they've got any more sale finds See, I'm already thinking now well, I could shop a bit longer than I thought I was going to. Anyway, without further ado, let's get out of the car. Let's get in the shops. Let's stop waffling. Go and slip back, slip brick today, just because my hair needed a wash. Again, I was going to go for, um, I was thinking I was going to go for a run potentially later. If I can, if I have time. It's either that or housework. Because for me, housework is equally a workout. And then, yeah, so that's why I saved my hair. I didn't wash it this morning, even though it needs it. Right. Someone's about to park next to me. Let's go shopping. Close your eyes. Get some rest. I'm by your side. Lay your head on my chest. this time with my puppy yes he's two and a half and yes i still call him a puppy wow that light does not do me any favors why do i look so pale we need some sunshine back so that i can get a bit of tanagon tanagon tan again bit of color um that's annoying six no seven pound for two hours parking nine for up to four or three or four hours and i was two hours and two minutes Never mind. Um, I just popped into MS to grab myself a bite to eat for lunch. I got this focaccia bread, um, like in the bakery section, which I'll probably have like half of that. And then this super green salad. This is actually a really nice one. If you're not a salad eater, because I certainly am not a salad eater, I would never choose a salad. Well, I have just chosen a salad. But as in, rewarding at a restaurant salad is just not the section of the menu that i even contemplate and plus i always feel like oh like what a bore what a waste of money <laughs> to like not even enjoy it however i do quite rate the ms salad so if you're trying to be healthy i just pick it up go with it don't even look at the other options 
white bread and um yeah they are really good so this one is the cucumber edamame apple sugar snaps with a fruity ginger dressing although it's half 12 so if i get back and have that it'll be like what nish when i get home something like that are you ready to go home he was a good boy in the office they all love it when he's there he had a friend in the office as well another fur friend what did they say he was called winston little i think he was a cockapoo or a cavapoo anyway <laughs> he's not interested i did do some damage in the shops sostren Garen, really lovely shop got quite a few bits I did pick up a couple more bits for the white company as well so when i get home i'll show you those bits as well as the online things that i ordered i did get one of their pillows which i slept with last night and i thought i'm gonna go luxury it was in the sale but it was about 80 pounds still and that was in the sale and it is nice but like 80 pounds i just really struggle to get pillows that i stick with like sometimes i'll get a pillow and if it's a new pillow i'm like yeah i like that but then after a while i'm like oh, i'm getting neck ache and back ache again so i really struggle and the orthopedic ones i feel like are good for my like they are good but they're not as like you get like cozy with them so i just find them a bit like you just got to sleep like that um but yeah the struggle for finding a good pillow i feel like is this just going to be a forever thing or am i eventually going to find pillows that i like and be like yes because every time i go to a hotel i'm like yeah lovely pillows so why can't i just find them that i can have at home anyway ramble over let's get home let's um oh and another thing i wanted to get whilst i was in there i picked up some lemons and i was looking for ginger because i want to make some lemon and ginger tonic no ginger mns didn't sell ginger and this is a big mns so if you know city center in manchester is a big one so i don't know if they just sold out or what they had turmeric but i feel like turmeric doesn't quite go with the lemon and ginger tonic that i want to make all right barney let's go let's get some windows down some fresh air in I did actually go to Gales. Gales, if you're yet to try it in Manchester, I swear there's loads of them popping up. Didsbury, Altrincham, Wilmslow. I've been to all of them. <laughs> the city centre one now in King Street. The queue was massive, so that's why I did a detour and went via the M&S food shop at the end. Anyway, let's get back home. Let's eat my lunch. Let's get on with the day. new day i did end up doing a bit of housework yesterday and i've still got more to do actually i really want to get the bathrooms cleaned but anyway that's a potentially a t a tomorrow task tom's playing a few cricket games this weekend so i might just use that opportunity to uh, catch up on housework but anyway it is a new day and it's actually quite well the sun's just gone behind a cloud but it's quite warm today so in fact i might even put a dress on but i'm just going to finish getting ready i'm using my ghd curve one today i've been really enjoying the creative 
curved ones that they do um but for ease and convenience i do find this one a bit quicker because i can just grab thicker pieces to get it done a bit quicker because i'm in somewhat of a rush tom's at the gym and i'm gonna go meet him he goes to a gym near didsbury i'm gonna go meet him straight after his workout and we're gonna go to gail's for lunch I think, well, if you if you know Gail's, it's more of like a bakery. It'll probably be really busy as well because Gail's was busy. Went into town yesterday, obviously. Went into town and I nearly went to Gail's because they've got a new Gail's on King Street. And I stood in the queue for like two minutes and it was out the door. And I just thought, oh, I don't need to queue for a Gail's today. So left it um, and then kind of fancied it ever since. So I thought, we'll go to the Disbury one today and hopefully it won't be quite as busy i'm sure it will be but oh well um but yeah because it's more of like a bakery style because the weather's quite nice i thought we could potentially i'll take the dog with me but can come with me and we might find a little spot outside somewhere to sit and eat so we'll just grab i might go for one of their little salad boxes that they do they do some really nice what was it i had last time like a beetroot salad that was lovely and then obviously you can't go to Gales without getting some kind of sweet treat or a pastry. So we'll see what they've got. Although they do do, um, they do a, is there a fly in here? Because my bathroom window is open. Uh, they do a really nice spinach. I think it's spinach and feta pastry. Um, so if they have that on today, I might be tempted for that. But we will see. We'll just see what they've got when, when, when I get there. And also, because uh, it is Didsbury, another reason why I was like, oh yeah, Tom, you stay there and I'll come meet you, is because that's where the Oxfam shop is. That last time I went in, they had loads of Zara Home delivery, like brand new from Zara Home. If you saw my charity shop little vlog that I did, might get lucky and they might have had, I doubt it, I don't think I'll ever get that <laughs> lucky again. Everyone's messaging me saying, oh my God, your charity shop's so much better than mine. Trust me, it was a fluke. I'm not, I, I kind of gave up on charity shops a little bit until that moment because I find charity shopping so hard. I find things overpriced. I find things like old and tatty and I don't know. It's fair enough if it's old and tatty that you can maybe restore it and it's a bargain price. But when it's not even a bargain price, it just makes you think, no point. Anyway, um, but yeah, that was a really lucky charity shopping experience. So who knows, whilst I'm there, might as well just have a quick pop in. I'll be able to tell probably as soon as I get there whether or not they've had any kind of a delivery because she did say they partner with Selfridges as well. So quite often they get Selfridges deliveries. So I might pop in there, see if they've got anything. But anyway, I'll do all that and then last hair piece on the front and then when i get back this afternoon before i get on with some editing and some house cleaning if i get around to doing any of that today i although it's a very stormy day tomorrow and the weekend potentially so maybe it's a good weekend to just get a good thorough house clean done but anyway what i was going to say was um I will, when I then get back, I'll show you the bits that I bought yesterday in town. Um, so I've got quite a few good little finds. So that is how I do my hair. Like, how quick was that? I only had a few curls in before I put the camera on. And it says I've been recording for five minutes nearly. Nearly five minutes. And that's how quick it is to do my hair. But what I do to finish it off, I just pop a bit of Moroccan oil. Is this the light? Yeah, this is the light treatment. The only difference between the normal and the light, I think, I think I'm saying this right, is this one literally just feels a bit lighter. So uh, yeah, but I like either to be honest with you. And then I just like finger through the curls just to separate them a little bit so they're less perfect kind of get all that goodness in the ends of my hair where i get most breakage and underneath but don't go too close to the root so that it's not greasy um so yeah that's what i do with the rock and oil and then sometimes i'll go in with a spritz of dry shampoo because i didn't i washed my hair yesterday i did end up going for a run with barney in the afternoon so i washed my hair as soon as i got back 
and yeah if I freshly wash my hair like if I'd have done it this morning I probably would skip this step sometimes I do it anyway just for a bit of volume but a bit dry shampoo just a tiny bit because it doesn't need it I just do it for for volume more than anything and also being blonde it kind of adds that little bit of powderiness to brighten up the roots then last step is just a bit of hairspray the one that I'm currently using is the GHD perfect ending final fix hairspray kind of go in like that and then always go upside down it's not the best but it'll do so yeah that's my kind of everyday quick hair routine not every day not at all every time i wash my hair didn't do anything to it yesterday just let it i say i used a hair dryer about 80 percent to make it about 80 percent dry and then just let it air dry fully and then yeah that is my finished hair routine this will last a few days although Day three and four I end up, well sometimes I even day one and two, especially in the summer, I end up throwing it up on top of my head because I can't. You're not welcome in here, fly. That's the only thing with having windows open is flies getting in. Uh, yeah, I end up throwing it up on top of my head because I just, I don't know, I just like it up and out my face. But even when it's freshly curled, it's quite nice to have it up still. Right, I think I'm gonna get a dress on. I feel like I wore these trousers yesterday. They're my new Zara ones that I got in this, were they in the sale? I think they were in the sale. They were 19.99, so I think they were a sale. And then this is just a little Primark knitted vest. Although I'm looking outside and because it's now just gone a little bit overcast. Maybe I will stay in this outfit. <laughs> yeah, I think I will. I was thinking get out my shoulders for some sunning, but I'm not gonna be I'm not going to be there for very long. It's literally just a quick, quick little lunch pit stop. What time are we on? Oh yeah, he finishes at the gym in 15 minutes. So I'll probably set off soon. I'll see you guys when I get there. Let me show you my perfume choice of the day. I feel like I'm a creature of habit at the minute. I cannot help but keep putting on this one. This Aquamedia from Maison Francis Kerjian. It's just so nice. But I'm gonna switch it up just for the vlog. I go with another one that I love to wear in summer. Where is it? Here we go. I mean, yeah, I've used half of this already. This for summer, spring and summer. Gorgeous. It's the Jo Malone Basil and Neroli. And then also, I did have yesterday a link taken out when I was in town just popped into uh, DMR. It's like David Robinson, I think it's called, um, in town, which is where I got my watch from. So it's, I picked it up from the altering and one. I had a link taken out, so it no longer spins around on my hand. It's always kind of like caught and like sort of spun around and you, it, more easy to knock it. And I don't want to be knocking it. So I had a link taken out and yeah, it fits much better. Do I put on a necklace? Yeah, I'll go with this little necklace from Ana Luisa. Pretty much all my jewellery is Ana Luisa. Oh no, is it a bit tangled? Uh, there we go. It's just basically like a little tiny, I don't know, would you say that's a little star clover? Just a little quad of sparkles. And it's got like a kind of beaded design along the chain. But I just like it nice and simple, bit of glitz. And then I'll pop on my white Birkenstocks. Probably take this bag, just so it's got everything in it from yesterday. And good to go.
Even is it? Tomatoes. The best Italian DOP tomato. Italian what? What's DOP? I think it's something like Domaine or Provence or something. Or something. Oh, some protect or protector or something. It's oh, and you've got pizza. Oh, is that what you've ordered off Amazon? I no, wonder. No, no, this is from Adele, yes. Yeah, or whatever it was online, something arrived. And I was like, what on earth? You said it had to be delivered today because it was food produce. And I'm thinking, what on earth have you ordered? I know when HelloFresh isn't arriving. Anyway, back home with our feast. Tom's decided to go for ciabatta and he's gonna do some eggs. Um, we had their ciabatta. What did we have? Thank oh, garlic. Know. Oh no, garlic bread was the last you cat. Yeah, pork sandwiches with our leftover roast pork the other week. Anyway, I went for, I got myself done iced decaf. Uh, black coffee. It reminds me of what did I tell you yesterday was it? That that TikTok that said um, people that drink full fat regular coke no, just enjoy not. life. <laughs> really enjoy life. And I'm like god I couldn't be more polar opposite. I drink caffeine free diet coke. <laughs> anyway made me chuckle. Yeah I've gone for an iced black which I've, I don't think I've ever had a black iced coffee and it's nice. I thought it'd be a bit like bitter because obviously there's no sugar it's one calorie and then for food I got myself one of these little uh, like salami sandwiches they're, they're in minis and then a little mini um, honey cake as well little mini honey cake and then this little salad box a courgette and Muamara. So that is my little lunch. And I did get a couple of charity shop finds. Went to that one that had all the Zara bits, Tom. Now, they didn't have as much homeware this time, but they did have loads of fashion donations. So I'll try them on so you can see what they look like on. But this dress I got, uh, it's in a small and Retails for $32.99, but they were selling it for $8.99. Just a gorgeous, simple, like, linen. What is it from? Puff Zara. Yeah. No chance. They had loads. They had menswear as well. It was, it's all got the original Zara tags on and everything. I know. So, yeah, like a little puff sleeve, white linen dress. It is maxi, but it's got a slit up the leg. And then the back detail has kind of like a little crisscrossy bit that does up. So yeah, I thought that was really pretty. I mean, I'm not trying to leave these on. They did have a change room, but I just, no. So um, yeah, hopefully they fit. And then I've got this one shoulder white jumpsuit that I thought for a nice like summer evening on holiday. Got it in a medium. It was 32 99 and they were selling it for 9 99 um, but yeah, that's what that one looks like. Just what I'm enjoying this one shoulder thing at the minute. So one shoulder, nice wide leg jumpsuit that feels might be a bit big. Oh no, it feels about right. And then what was that? Eight ninety nine, nine ninety nine. This one was nine ninety nine. This one retails for eighty nine ninety nine. I got it for nine ninety nine. Then a small, medium, large. I went for a medium, so I'm hoping it's going to be okay. It's basically like again a kind of linen-y fabric. It's like a halter neck dress and it's got, this one's got a slit on the back so from the front it's just a plain simple dress that I thought yet again like on a holiday, I need to get something booked. Let's go. On a holiday would look lovely in these. So 
three white numbers, although that one's more of a cream. Pretty happy with that, to be honest. Uh, we could do Greece. You mentioned Portugal, never been there before. I don't want a city break though in the summer. I don't like roaming around city breaks. I feel like that's more, you want to go April time or October. I don't like traipsing around when I'm hot. I like to be sat enjoying the sun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what have you bought these bits for? For the Gosne pizza. Is that double O flour? It's double O flour and these are the sauces of the best. They do look good to be fair. They look like you'd see them in a pizza restaurant. You know, like with a big pizza oven out and they've got them displayed in the background on like a shelf or something. Anyway, time to feast. I'll get some work done because I still haven't done any editing today and need to get this week ends it video done. You're gonna upload it on the thing? I haven't even edited it yet. Yeah, yeah, Tom's bought me this little gadget, which basically, what do you do? You plug it straight into the internet box, which means super fast connection, basically. Um, I won't call it a gadget because you make sound. A gadget? What is it then? Oh, it's an Ethernet connection. That's a gadget. What is it then? It's been around for about 15 years. Yes, yeah, gadgets aren't new things. They can be an Ethernet connection. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my lunch now. Can, I, can you pass me a fork, please? Because you're all the way over there and I'm all the way over the sun. Just pass me a fork, please. Look how cute this little honey cake is. How much was that? A pound. Six. But it was like a pound and nine pence if you wanted to eat it in. Or something like that. Anyway, bon appetit. Barney, get it. Oh no, it'll be too hot for him. <laughs> Tragic. Oh. Sucks to be you. Should have got gales. <laughs> I've given up on the, uh, the old knit vest and trousers and popped on a little dress. It's too warm. I was doing trial clips of those Zara dresses from the charity shop and I thought rather than get back into a knit top and some trousers, it's approaching the high 20s today so yeah dress back on it was and yeah thought it was time to sit down and share with you the bits that i picked up in town yesterday and also this little online delivery that i did for the white company and also sustrine green this is the brand that i keep mentioning that probably a load of you are like what are you talking about this is the brand you can see at the top there. They don't really have an online website. You can browse some of their things, but um, it's better to go in store if you are local. This is probably gonna be a bit of a lengthy haul section actually within this video because I also have a couple of things I wanted to show you from Amazon. Soon as though it is Amazon Prime Day by the time you're watching this, today and tomorrow I think it is. Let me just check. No, it was yesterday and today. So today is the last day of Prime Day, Amazon Prime Day. So you can get loads of like amazing discounts and offers. I've ordered some things recently, so I thought I would share them within this video. And what I'll do is I will link all of these items on my Amazon storefront. So you can really easily click that link in my description box. It takes you through to like all of my kind of Amazon faves. The things that I've got like around the house and stuff that are all from Amazon that I love as well. And then obviously you can then shop the discounts with these. So yeah, first things first is this. I'll show you this one from Lakeland. Obviously Lakeland like in store is lovely, but they do have an Amazon shop which pretty much has everything on their website anyway, on Amazon, so you can get it on Prime. And yeah, this acrylic book stand, I really liked it because you can essentially pop the cookbook with the page open so that this is obviously clear so you can see all of the instructions, the ingredients and everything, but it doesn't like keep, the page doesn't keep turning or anything. It's really sturdy, very simple, but yeah, acrylic cookbook stand. I uh, picked up and thought I would share with you because I feel like any other like recipe followers or baking lovers would appreciate that one. I've got 
there's no method to this. I'm just grabbing the Amazon parcel and showing it to you. Um, but yeah, this one is a book called The Chimp Paradox. I've heard good things about this. Tom has as well, because when I got it out, he's like, oh, I've heard of, that's meant to be good. So it's called The Mind Management Program for Confidence, Success, and Happiness. Now, I got this um, in the used section because my intention with this is to get scribbling on it. I love a good kind of like scribble in a book. And yeah, the fact that this was used really didn't bother me. Like even if I found it in a charity shop or something and people had already scribbled on it, that doesn't really bother me. If anything, I kind of like that because it kind of, I don't know, there's a story behind, oh, why have they underlined that? Or why has that stood out for that person? Anyway, so yeah, I'm planning on just getting a pen with this one, just having a flip through and just kind of, yeah. These I've spotted on Amazon. I thought they were brilliant. They are labels for glass bottles or like plastic bottles or whatever. You could even use the bottles you've already got. Take the labels off them and pop these ones on. And they're very much duping the Aesop labels. So I've got Aesop shampoo and conditioner and body wash anyway. But I thought for spare bathrooms, I don't know, for wherever really. Um, these are just genius. So they give the impression very much so, especially if you bought amber bottles, amber glass bottles or plastic ones. Maybe the M&S ones you could use because they're like an amber colour. Um, but to pop those labels on just gives the aesthetic if you like the look of the Aesop bottles, but at a fraction of the price. Then I got this book. This, well, I've got a few coffee table books actually, and as you know, I'm building my collection now that we have a couple of bookcases and areas to style up with books. So this one is called The New Southern Style, The Interiors of a Lifestyle and Design Movement by Alyssa Rosenheck. And yeah, it's a beautiful cover, but it's also the kind of bare book to it is also really gorgeous. Just got the big bold font there and very simple. I thought that would look lovely styled up. That table is just everything. Absolutely beautiful. I like those lampshades as well, actually. But anyway, I'm gonna have a flick through that and yeah, add it to my collection of coffee table books. And then what do we have in here? Another, another book. Now I think I already have this one in the spare bedroom, but I wanted one for downstairs as well. So because this one's quite affordable, you've got quite a few books on there that are the more higher end price point and then some that are sort of like the 20 pound mark that I thought I would stock up on a couple. So yeah, I do already have this book in the spare bedroom, but it's so lovely and it was a bargain. So I decided to pick it up for downstairs as well. And also it is actually, like there's loads of inspo I take from this book. I really want some kind of cabinetry like that in the kitchen. I think that would look beautiful. And even the cover actually, you know, I've styled up my kitchen shelf and I've put that like old charity shop find, the line drawing. But that's the sort of styling that I see, like some kind of a picture, little vases and knickknacks and- Right, I stocked up guys. Little birdie told me that these amazing gloves that I love for washing up are being discontinued. So I've stopped up on three. I don't know if that's even enough. Do I get more? I wear the size medium. But they do small through to extra large. I have bought the large in the past, but the medium do fit me better. But they're a good washing up glove, not only because they're white, but they're like a moisturizing one whereby, you know when you put on your rubber gloves for cleaning or whatever, and like as you get going, you end up getting clammy on the inside. This, they're not like that at all. They're almost like a fuzzy material. No, they're just, beautiful not fuzzy like a talc kind of consistency where you just don't get clammy with these okay i bought this book a while back and i actually gave it as a gift to someone a friend who loves traveling and i just love the idea of this book anyway and as well as the fact that it's beautiful for you know displaying and styling up but it's called remote places to stay the most unique hotels at the end of the world so they've got some gorgeous hotels in here which just kind of spurs on that little bit of inspiration to travel more quite a nice one to have out to hand for people to actually flick through because I, th I think it's really interesting and then i saw this one this was like a new recommendation to me on amazon and i saw it and i thought yeah i'm gonna pop that one in my basket because it fits the aesthetic of downstairs with the whole like dark green element and it's called the alchemy of things interiors shaped by curious minds by 
by um, Karen McCartney. And yes, it's a gorgeous color. Like the whole, even the pages are green, like on the edging. And they're like a sage kind of green color. And then with the dark forest green on the outside, I just think it's a gorgeous book. And yeah, I'm excited to have a flick through these. I know a lot of people just use these as styling, but I actually really take a lot of inspiration from them. I love a good flick through these, these kind of books. And look at that chair. Oh, I picked. I picked the photo that they've used for the cover. Another coffee table book that I picked up is this one. It's called Arranging Things by Colin King. And um, it's one of the Rizzoli books. Oh, love that lamp. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to have a good flick through that one. I can open it up so I can show you the like bare cover if you wanted to just see what the actual book is like without the um, additional paper cover on top of it. So arranging things and then gorgeous. Do you know what? That would go with the Eight Homes books. The font of it is almost like a deep burgundy. And look at that, it's got an image printed on the front as well. Lovely. And another coffee table book that I've picked up is this one called Habitat, the Field Guide to Decorating by Lauren Lease. And yeah, practical and inspirational decorating guide for bringing natural elements into your home with sophistication, style and comfort. So yet again, another one I can have a flick through. I might sit in the garden this afternoon and just have a good look through these. This one I was actually most excited to get and it's the new Magnolia table. I think it's volume three. She's got two others, all aesthetic, but this one in particular, again, with it being the dark green, it's perfect for my kitchen space and it is a kind of kitchen themed book as well. So it's a collection of recipes for gathering. Yeah, volume three. Whether it's in the making, the gathering or the taste of something truly delicious, this is a collection I hope you'll savour. I've also bought, I'll probably show you when they arrive, which I think will probably be in the next vlog. I can't imagine them arriving today because I only ordered them yesterday from Etsy. But Tom picked out a couple of um, our cooking books, which I've been bringing up to the kitchen. And he was having a flick through them. And he said, we need something to like bookmark some of these recipes that I can cook. And uh, so I bought these little page markers from Etsy. Beige, of course, like nice and neutral. Barney's out there, he's just barked, but I've just realised he's barking in his sleep. Bless him. I always wonder what he's dreaming about. Anyway, can you hear him? I feel like he'll be too quiet for you to hear. Anyway, gorgeous book. Can't wait to have a flick through that and yes, start bookmarking some recipes. And then I also picked up these, just this bit of home decor to style up. I'm not sure where or how or when, but um, they're basically a set of three. They do these sets of three. Uh, terracotta pots with bases or you can buy them as separates and I've got a terracotta pot already so I thought I would pick up just the bases but they're like an aged or they, they've specifically aged them to make them look old which I guess you could probably do yourself if you were to like buy budget trays and then just like I say just kind of dirty them up yourself or add some of this clay to like a terracotta dish. But there's three different sizes. They were only five pounds anyway, so I thought that for, for a set of three was quite a good price. So anyway, that's everything that I got from Amazon. Just wanted to throw that out there and mention that. It's the last day that you can get the Prime Day discounts, so be sure to check out my storefront if you want to. Now I'll show you, should I show you White Company or I'll show you Sustrine Green. The amount of times that I've said that round and probably pronounced it wrong every single time but hey ho so gorgeous cute little shop very kind of ikea scandy vibes on a budget um which not that ikea is not on a budget but you know what i mean it's all the kind of like little knick-knack budget kind of finds that you would see at like the end of ikea plus more plus nicer things as well i got that from boots i don't know why that's in there i think uh yeah there's also a stock up of my concealer collection lasting perfection i've got ivory number three at the minute it's just a little bit too dark for me so picked up porcelain two okay um where should i start i've got two of these oh someone's coming to investigate are you coming to have a nosy yes so yeah picked up two of these and they are these storage jars they were on sale in fact i need to get my receipt share with you the bargain prices of these nearly dropped 
that would have been a disaster. Um, yeah, they've got this like acacia wood lid and I liked these because, oh, there we go, price on the bottom, £4.20 and they were £8.40, so half price. And yeah, they're a good size for in my pantry because I've got quite a few small ones, I wanted some bigger ones. I've got, did I get two or three of these? Two of these and they are ground markers for in the garden. So I've even got some seeds already, but when we eventually kind of do a little like herb area garden, herb garden in the garden, um, I thought these would come in really handy. So I'm just gonna pop them to one side for now, but just to stick them in the ground and just write on them the, um, the herb that we're growing. I'm saying herbs, cause that's probably mostly what we'll end up growing but they were only at £2.64 each. I did get another trivet, one that we've, exact same as the one that we've already got. These are £3.88, but I have ordered some more from Nordic Nest, different sizes, because Sustrin only do this size, which is more, they call it like a teapot holder, teapot trivet, um, so it's quite small. So yeah, I've ordered some bigger ones on there. Got this little brush for, I've got a soap from Home Sense which I want to style up with like a little linen cloth, the cube of soap, and then that sat on top. So I just wanted a plain one, so I picked up that. And uh, also got this for the sink as well, for washing dishes, £2.94. It's got a little hook on it, but I'll probably just leave that in the, leave that hooked up in the sink. Maybe pop a little hook on the back of the sink so you can't see it, but nice and neutral color. And these silicone ones are usually really good also got uh, this again acacia wood to go with the theme within our kitchen where £3.30 just a what do they call these like a cake and now I'm gonna wa watch this back whilst editing and be screaming at the screen whatever it is but you know cake decorator and then Tom really randomly said should we get like an apron for using the Gosney the outdoor kitchen and I thought this would be quite good for him I mean all me but it's one that's just like a half open so you can just tie it around his waist and then use these pockets on the front to like have all his tools in and yeah I loved the colour of it again kind of goes with the theme with our kitchen of this dark deep earthy green and that was £9, £9.30 that one was my favourite again more acacia wood I've just got this Cora we don't have a Cora, now we do. And then I love their uh, scoops that they do. I've got some bigger ones for bigger jars, but then I saw these mini ones and I just thought, how can I not leave without getting some of those? So I got two of these like medium sized ones and they were £1.69. And then I got a couple of the, t oh no, I got three of those. I feel like they'd be quite nice in a salt cellar or a salt pig. And then last but not least from this shop, I got this. Um, oh, this one was in the sale. I didn't realize this was in the sale. Um, so this is one of those kind of like stands for uh, you shoot string. £3.48 that one was. Okay, and now my favorite finds. I'll show you the bits that I got in store first. Hello, beautiful, handsome boy. You are gorgeous. Um, I got two of these placemats. I got some more online for our actual placemats, but for these ones, I just got two of them. There are actually only two left, but I thought for the middle of the table, it might be quite nice to set these out with like either a glass hurricane and a candle in, I thought it would be quite nice, or to use as a kind of like a placemat for food, like if you're serving food at the table kind of thing, just to have a couple of different dishes set on these. Good for outdoor dining as well. We've got our new outdoor dining table being, um, I say being delivered, we actually have to go and pick it up because we bought it from Oka as an X display table. So we've got like half price, I think maybe more than half price off of it. Um, that's arriving pronto, although we are probably going to keep it wrapped up until we're ready to actually like have an out outdoor like hosting space because at the minute if you know our garden's just very much pre-renovation let's just say that i got a matching oil and candle for my next ones to go in the kitchen and i got them in the scent capri because i thought it was very summery it will take us through until autumn these scents and i need to bring up an oil diffuser for this so yeah capri seven pound oil diffuser these ones are usually 10 pounds so they get it's basically 30 percent off the range and then this candle, the large candle, 
at 42 pounds which is usually 60 something or 60. this scent is watermelon cucumber and basil so i thought that would be perfect in the kitchen for the rest of summer i saw this flat sheet these are all sale finds i think i think they're all sale finds like bargain sale finds as well so i'll leave links to all of these below so this flat sheet it is 203rd pound scalloped edged super king flat sheet and yeah the fact that it's got the scalloped edge i thought was really pretty but i was thinking this for like high summer on those nights where it gets unbearably hot for a duvet to just have a nice flat sheet out so that you've literally just got a sheet on you as opposed to the duvet and what i'll probably do is put the sheet underneath the duvet so that in the morning i can still dress the bed as usual so yes these are the placemats and coasters i have gone for for our dining table i love these ones i know you can get dupe versions of them sostra actually used to do them i didn't see any this time around though but these are in the sale now anyway so i thought well now's the time to buy them they are does it say on there 20 pound full price i think they might have been around about the half price mark um so yeah i've got each one comes with two so i've got eight in total and then same with these little coasters you get a pack of four um full price it says they're 16 but again these were like half price something like that so these are packs of four so again i picked up two of those so that i've got a total of eight we've got eight dining chairs arriving soon so eight is the number that we're going with if we have any more than eight people they will be on the island with the emergency chairs. <laughs> Who is it that says that? Which comedian? Is it Mickey Flanagan? The emergency chairs? I can't remember. But you know like, oh is it Peter Kay? I think it might be Peter Kay actually. The emergency chairs. I also got this and then I was speaking to my mum on the phone the other day and I was like, oh, just pick up anything in the white company cell. She's picked up this as well. So it's this sleep, relax, lavender and chamomile ironing spray. So these are usually £15. I think they were in the sale at about six or seven pounds. And they smell lovely. They even just like if you were to use these not as an ironing spray, but because let's face it, how much ironing do I do? Not very much at all. But like to spritz on the bed, refresh it every couple of days, just spritz this all over it, and also a bit kind of like a crease releaser, you know, the Lenor crease releaser too. That's basically an ironing water. So these hand gels that they do, Wild Mint is one of my favourite scents, probably one of the most underrated scents, I think, of White Company. But I think for a kitchen especially, they just sound, sound, smell so fresh and invigorating and yeah, really nice. So Wild Mint, Peppermint and White Tea, hand cleansing gel, good to throw in a handbag in your car, just to have on the side by the sink in the kitchen or in a bathroom. Um, so yeah, I got that. That I think these were reduced down to about two or three pounds. And then I also got in the spa scent, the spa retreat, pink pepper, pettigrain, and cedarwood mist. So this is literally just like an atmospherical mist. You can spritz it in and around your space, you can spritz it on you. Oh wow. Then I got this carrier oil, Bath and Body Aromatherapy Carrier Oil. It's quite big actually. Again, was in the sale and really nice glass bottle. I might actually keep that one out. Um, but it comes with, well, it doesn't come with, you can purchase separately the pure aromatherapy oil. So these ones are more intense than their usual oils that I got, like the one that I got in store. These ones are far more like scented intense and you can essentially water them down with the carrier oil and again use them in your diffusers oil burners this one is in rosemary and i also got lavender i thought lavender would be nice for the bedroom rosemary for the kitchen so i've got all the new home scent products especially for the kitchen i feel like this is me telling future me to maybe you've got enough for a while use what you've got <laughs> and then i got this a few of you showed me um or sent me a link to the fact that they have the cake stand in the sale both the base and the cloche that goes on top and i have a cake base already anyway the white kind of like neptune home like dupe one from home sense with the little dots around the edges i have that already and i was saying i would like a cloche to go on top the white company cloche is the exact same 
diameter as the cake stand I already own so I feel like it's going to be too big because it'll literally like be balancing on the edge whereas I need it just to be in slightly so as much as I would have picked that up and I would have loved to have that one especially now that it's in the sale it's the wrong size unfortunately but I did see this and pick this up because I've mentioned this again before and I think full price it was £60 but again this one was in the sale and I just think it is perfect i just think it's so simple but gorgeous it's an ice bucket essentially but how often do you see an ice bucket that you can actually see the ice and the drink within most often than more often than not like even on the white company they've got ones that are like a silver or a brass or whatever that are more like a standard kind of wine bucket champagne bucket but yeah to have a glass one i thought was really unique and it is weighty so that's everything i picked up so i feel like i'm going to close off this this video here what's going to be a day in life ended up being two days but i hope you guys have enjoyed it nonetheless a little bit of shopping in town very random spur of the moment type of trip but yeah i hope you enjoyed it I've had a lovely couple of days actually really nice love a little shopping trip and a little spending spree but yeah thank you so so much for watching today's video thumbs up if you have enjoyed it subscribe for more i'm now on threads if anyone else is on threads and wants to follow me i love my thread number there's some angel numbers going on in there i think it's three 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 six nine six five the angel number three is a number of true potential and harmony. Known as the master builder, this dream digit can show up on your radar when your guardian angels want you to connect with your inner growth and internal wisdom and manifest the life you want to live. If you want to follow me on thread, that is my thread number. I don't know how I am still getting used to it. I feel like so old, but I'm assuming you don't just have to search by number. You can search by someone's name. So it's just very apparent to what I'm guessing. I don't know. But anyway, link to it is on my Instagram. If you are um, on it, let me know. I just chat rubbish on there, basically. So <laughs> that's what I feel like it is for. It's like people showing their true versions of themselves or their stripped back version, their early 2000s MSN chat type persona is basically what it is but anyway yeah i'm enjoying it so far we'll see if it's one that i end up sticking with but yeah that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching have a lovely rest of your day and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys